in this video i will talk about parallel circuit i will try to cover each and everything related to a parallel circuit when one end of each resistance is joined to a common point and the other end of each resistance is connected to another common point so that there is as many as paths for current flow as the number of resistances it is called a parallel circuit now let me clarify this let's say i have three resistances r1 r2 and r3 see one end of this r1 r2 and r3 are connected at this common point okay and you will see another end of this r1 r2 and r3 are is connected at this common point that means one end of these three resistors are connected at a common point and one end of these three resistors are connected in this common point therefore the resistors r1 r2 and r3 will be connected in parallel now let's say i have connected these parallel resistances across a voltage source v here you will see this same voltage will be applied across this r3 across this r2 and and across this r1 because v is the voltage difference across this and this terminal and same voltage is applied across r1 r2 and r3 therefore in a parallel circuit our voltage across the resistance will be same now th as this is the positive terminal of the source it will let emit a source current let's say i and this common point is denoted as a and this common point is denoted with b now you will see when this total current enters into this point it will have total three paths to divide one will go in this direction another will go in this direction and another portion will go in this direction or through this path let's say the current that is flowing through this r1 is i1 the current that is flowing through this r2 is i2 the current that is flowing through this r3 is i3 as different currents are flowing through each of the resistances i can calculate the current through each resistor by using ohm's law see the voltage difference across this terminal and this terminal equal to v therefore our total current through the branch one will be equal to i1 will be equal to the voltage difference across this terminal and this terminal is equal to v divided by the value of resistor now what will be this i2 i2 is the current that is flowing through this r2 so i at to calculate i2 at first i have to take the voltage difference across the two terminals of the resistor r2 so this will be v and the resistance will have a value of r2 now how do we calculate i3 see to calculate i3 you will see this i3 is the current that is flowing through this r3 to calculate i3 at first i have to take the voltage difference across this end and this end of this r3 which is equal to v divided by the value of resistor r3 now if i calculate total current i our total current i will be the sum of the individual currents that are flowing through each of the resistor i i will be equal to sum of i1 i2 and i3 i equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 now what will be the value of this i1 i1 will be equal to v divided by r1 what will be the value of this i2 i2 will be equal to v divided by r2 what will be the value of this i3 i3 will be equal to v divided by r3 now what is this total current i see this is our a terminal and this is our b terminal with respect to this a and b terminal if i consider the total or equivalent resistance as rp our total current will be equal to to here we are supplying total voltage v and the total resistance of this parallel circuit will be rp so i can write v divided by rp will be equal to v by r1 plus v by r2 plus v by r3 if i take out this v and the v from the right side i can write our total resistance rp will be equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 as rp is the total resistance then i can say when a number of resistances 
are connected in parallel the reciprocal of this total resistance or parallel resistance rp is the sum of the reciprocal of the individual resistances that means reciprocal of rp will be equal to the sum of the reciprocal of individual resistances rp will be equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 now let me point out some features of a parallel circuit first one is that the voltage across each resistor is same that means the voltage v will be same across each resistor second one is that the total current will be equal to the sum of individual currents that is flowing through each branch let's say i wa i will be equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 third one is that as the number of parallel branches is increased the total resistance of the circuit is decreased we calculate the parallel resistance 1 by rp equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 if i increase the number of resistance further with the increase of the number of resistances the value of our total parallel resistance will be more smaller fourth one is that the total resistance let's say rp will always be less than the smallest resistance of the parallel branch let's say if i connect 2 and 3 ohm resistances in parallel therefore our total resistance rp should be equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 if i take the lcm i will get 6 3 plus 2 so our rp will be equal to 6 by 5 which will be equal to 1.2 ohm see our total resistance rp is smaller than the smallest resistance of the circuit fifth one is that if we have n resistor each of them has a value of r and each branch has an equal resistance of value r therefore our rp will be equal to r divided by n what does it mean let's say i have two parallel resistance of 2 ohm now if i want to calculate the total resistance rp of this parallel resistances i just simply take the value of this 2 ohm and divide the number of resistances here it will be equal to 1 let's say if i have total four resistances of 4 ohm connected in parallel therefore our total resistance r2 will be equal to value of this resistance r here we have total number of resistance of 4 therefore our rp will be equal to 1 ohm let's say i have total three resistances each of them has a value of 6 ohm now what will be the parallel resistance rp our rp will be equal to the value of the resistance divided by number of resistances equal to 2 ohm now let me calculate the power drop in this parallel circuit see the voltage difference across the across this terminal and this terminal is equal to v therefore our power drop across r1 resistor will be equal to p1 equal to v square divided by the value of resistor r1 our power drop across resistor r2 will be equal to p2 and it will be equal to v square divided by r2 and the res and the value of power drop that is drop across our r3 resistance will be equal to v square divided by r3 now if i consider the total power drop as p our total power drop will be equal to v square divided by r p therefore our total sub supplied power will be equal to the sum of the power drop across each of the resistor p will be equal to p1 plus p2 plus p3 which i can write like this v square divided by rp 
equal to v square divided by r1 plus v square divided by r2 plus v square divided by r3 that's it thank you